Hey guys, it's Sasha from AG Artsy Studios here today, and today I'm here with Sage. Huh? She looks a little bit different. Well, this is a Sage doll that I'm going to fix up. My sister's friend was selling her dolls, and I was like, whoa, this is the perfect chance to get some dolls and to fix them up for you guys. So here's Sage, and I can't wait to show you how I fix her up. So let's get into the video. Let's start off with our standard body imperfections. So we have her legs and stuff. They look like they're in pretty good condition. Maybe a little loose, I might tighten them. But there's definitely some dirt on them. Her torso looks very nice. It's very squishy, similar to how my Sage doll is. And her nails have nail polish on them, if you didn't see that already. Um, yeah, so I might be able to take that off, get in some dirt. And then her face is actually, it looks pretty nice. However, all over her body, it looks like there's a bit of glitter. Um, maybe a little bit of hair was cut here, but I think her main problem is probably just going to be recurling her hair because her hair is super duper dry and she comes with her earrings in. So I think she'll be totally adorable to fix up. So let's get into the actual fixing up. So first we're going to take our magic eraser and we're going to clean off her limbs because they were quite dirty. This does not take off the nail polish, so I recommend a nail polish remover that is like very few in chemicals. I use like a children's nail polish that we just had lying around with like no acetone so it didn't melt the doll or anything and it got off most of the nail polish. And then you're just going to take a wet rag to wipe off all of the dirt because I found it very surprising how much wet dirt was just sitting on the doll's limbs so it's best to wipe it off with like a wet cloth. Alright, our next step is to wash the doll's hair and I'm just using some detangling shampoo and conditioner. So you're going to want to get the doll's hair nice and wet, but try not to get it too much on the roots because then like the wig might fall off and the glue could come loose. Then I'm just putting some shampoo in her hair and I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes and then we're going to wash it out as you see here. put in some detangling conditioner. I let this sit for about a few minutes just so that I can get into the doll's hair and help to detangle it and help to make it less frizzy. So I'm just gonna let it sit and then we'll wash it out. And here we are washing it out. And by the way, do not wash your doll's hair without your parents' permission and try your best to cover her eyes so that you do not get water in them. All right, now I'm just gonna brush out Sage's hair to get out all of the tangles. So yeah, you're just going to want to brush it out. It should be a lot smoother now that you've washed it. Here is Sage's hair all brushed. Now we're going to straighten Sage's hair. I'm sure you guys know the drill by now. So you're just going to want to get a piece of hair very wet. Try to go in smaller sections. Then you're going to want to brush it out till it's smooth. And then take your hair straightener, make sure it's on the lowest setting, and then smoothly run it through your doll's hair. Do not use hot object without parent supervision or permission, and please ask your parents before straightening your doll's hair. And then you're just going to want to finish up by doing it to the rest of the hair. And here is Sage's hair all straightened out. It is a lot smoother and a lot less frizzy. Now you may be wondering at this point, how are we going to put Sage's hair into curls again? So we're just going to use some sponge rollers, mine are from American Girl, but you could also use some from a beauty supply store. And be sure to roll them up all the same way, that way all the curls go the same direction. And repeat this with the rest of your doll's hair. And here is Sage's hair in the rollers. Now to curl your doll's hair, you're going to want to take a bowl of hot water, which is on the left, and a bowl of cold water, which is on the right, and you're going to want to dunk your doll's hair into the hot water. This is just the hottest setting on my faucet. Then let all the water drip off so that there's not a whole lot, but, you know, still wet, and then you're going to want to dip your doll's hair into the cold water. This will set the curls. Even if your doll's hair is still wet, there should be a curl, but it's best to wait until they dry. I usually set Sage upside down so that the water doesn't get onto her face or onto her body. I'll see you guys tomorrow after her hair dries. It's now the next day and it's time to take out Sage's rollers. I'm sure you guys know how to do this. And then you'll have a bouncy curl just like this. Please enjoy me taking them out. So here is Sage's hair in the curl. 
nails I'm sure you guys just saw and now we're just gonna brush them out so that they are nice and smooth and less all bunched up. After I brush them out this is how it looks but they will look slightly different after I dress her and brush them out again. all finished she has her hair all done and she's wearing an outfit that has been washed and she just looks totally adorable so i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video please like share comment and subscribe and thank you so much for however many subscribers we have because i know that it's growing so fast and i'm so thankful for all of you guys so thank you so much and i really hope you guys have a nice day bye guys